Hey! Excuse me. Stop interrupting me! I'm trying to drink beer here! Holy smokes! Anyhow, welcome to Bruce with Beck. I'm Dan. How the hell is your family and your dog? Uh, I'm great. Let's get to this beer. Uh, hopefully you have an amazing week. My week is going just nice. Uh, you know, Crappensburg State is in effect. Uh, and I got a, a nice, tasty, hopefully, beer from Handy Market in Burbank. Thank you, Mark. Go to Handy Market in Burbank and tell them that, Mar that Dan sent you. Uh, this beer is a collaboration between Around the Horn Brewing, uh, which I believe I've had before. I have to look that up real quick, uh, maybe at the break. Uh, Around the Horn Brewing Company um, from Groveland. It's either Groveland or Groveland, California, which is about three hours directly east of San Francisco. Uh, they did this in collaboration with Orchestrated Mines. Uh, there you go. Boom. Orchestrated Mines. There's a little light on the can, so I kind of tilted it up, uh, which is, I believe, out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Uh, double check myself. Let's see. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure I was accurate on that. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. But yeah, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, combining with a place three hours from San Francisco uh, around the horn. Uh, props to around the horn. This one is called Gold Mines and Tan Lines. Uh Kind of an awesome name. Uh, 10.5 on the Richter. Tap in. Uh, it is an imperial stout with macadamia nuts, cocoa nibs, and uh, comoros vanilla beans. If anyone can explain what uh, comoros, comoros vanilla beans are, let me know. I don't really know what that, uh, that type of vanilla bean is, but it's all good. It's all good. Uh, anyway, uh, go Nuggets. You betcha. And uh, that's about all I got, so let's drink a beer. Uh, get this out from underneath. Hold on one second. Sorry, I wasn't sure what was going on back there. My daughter was trying to get something. But uh, anyway, let's pour this bad boy. Uh, Imperial style with macadamia nuts, cocoa nibs, and basically vanilla beans. All right, on that note, will you please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Por favor. For my YouTube algorithm, that way we can sit down with cold drinks anytime you want. I'm going to leave a little bit for a snifter. All right, all right, all right. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. All right. Now, I wanted to get the bruise with Beck, but I also want to pour a little in a little snifter to see if there was any, any difference. Leave the can. Duh. There you go. Put that little bad boy under there so you can see see the can a little better. If I can do that right. Yeah, the light's a little intense on the can, so got to tilt it forward. Uh, nice and nice and uh, dark motor oil. Um, like I said, sit. Hopefully, you're sitting down having a beer with me. Uh, if you need to pause, please do that and reconvene with me with your beer. Um, uh, we're just watching a little sporting events, uh, right now and listening to some blues, but, uh, let's get to it. Um, hopefully your week's well. Let's get a sniff. Ooh, okay. Right off the bat, I almost felt like I got like, like a slightly bitter coffee note, but definitely, definitely the cocoa nibs, uh, like roasted notes of cocoa nibs. Okay. That's really what I get. Kind of a... Uh, earthy, biscuity, cocoa nibs, uh, bitter note. Okay, well, let me see anything else. Anything else here? A little bit different with, with this. That's why I figured I would do do that. I mean, same basic note, maybe a little richer just because it's a smaller sample size that I can whirl around a little bit more right now. Okay, I get a little bit more now that it's opening up, a little bit more of a vanilla bean at the very end, so. There you go, roasted notes, a little dark chocolate, and a little, little vanilla in there, maybe a little bitter coffee. All right, well, let's get it. No words, just emotions. Like and subscribe, and let's drink a beer. Okay, when you actually drink it, you definitely get the, the rounded vanilla at the end. 
Now, will I be able to get the macadamia nuts on that? We'll see about that. Uh, what comments below? What are you drinking? What are you watching? You know, who's your team? You know who my team is. So, isn't that right, Joker? Good draft for 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 my uh, Broncos getting bony Knicks. Hopefully, leave any comments on that if you're Broncos fans. All right, mouthfeel on this. Pretty big mouthfeel. Not like syrupy or anything, but it's it is smooth. Almost has like a nice smooth maltiness going to it. So it's it's definitely not over. Oh, oh doesn't overdo it. But I would say like a. I don't know, probably 75, um, maybe maybe 80 out of 100. As far as mouthfeel, pretty pretty full. Not 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 the not the most I've ever had, but pr pretty pretty big mouthfeel. Does it feel like 10 and a half on the Richter? I don't think so. I think the um, macadamia nuts, cocoa nibs, vanilla beans. Slightly hide it, but I mean, mm, no, you know what? It does come off a little. I mean, I would have probably just guessed ten flat on this, so I guess roughly. But I mean, I you know, don't wrong. I think someone could do this stout and make it. This this could feel like about like nine, nine and a, nine and a half, but it does have a very nice uh, multi. Mouthfeel uh, with the, like, again, yeah, can't tell if the, if the macadamia nuts are kicking in there with the vanilla beans. Uh, maybe that's what's kind of making it, giving like a bigger, like, a little bigger mouthfeel and a little bit bigger on the, uh, I don't know, just kind of chewiness with the malt. Uh, but so far, I'm liking, uh, not a whole lot of people have had this yet. Literally eight people have had it, so there's not an overall or even rating yet. I've seen people giving it a 5 out of 5 and 4.5, so we'll see what we think. Uh, let me know what beer you're drinking or whether I doubt that you've had this. You can, you can get this at uh, uh, Handy Market in Burbank. I think I got it for like uh, $7.50 a can for something like this. I'd say that's a bargain. Uh, give me one second, see if what the other comments were. Anything else I can tell you, and uh, we'll give it a grade and get the hell out of here. Props to uh, Gro Gro Groveland, Groveland slash uh, Fort Lauderdale for, for the collaboration on this one. One second. All right, extreme close-up. Whoa! Big ups. Pretty good, pretty good. Again, this is for the light so you can actually see the can a little better. Propping it just a little bit. Okay then. Um, I have had one, of, I looked it up, have had one of their beers before. It was a peanut butter banana stout 6.5 on the Richter called uh, TCB in the mash. Uh, so yeah, kind of a peanut buttery, uh, chocolatey, uh, slight banana um, stout that I thought was pretty good. I think I rated it like an A-. A minus. So this is a little different. Coming off a little bit more like a just roasted, uh, yeah, roasted roasted stout, roasted chocolate and vanilla. You would I mean, I would never know there's macadamia nuts in this just because you, I don't, I don't know anyone who would know there was macadamia nuts in here. I think it's a, pr that's a pretty subtle thing to know if it would be in a beer, but Definitely nice head, so. There wasn't, it literally was like eight ratings and no one really said anything. They just kind of just gave it five stars, five stars, four and a half stars and didn't say anything. So, yeah, roasted notes, vanilla, uh, cocoa nibs, um, maybe just the subtle, subtle bit of macadamia that's just to thicken it up. But, uh, uh, yeah, maybe like I said, just weirdly a little coffee. Um, all right, well, cheers you. Hopefully you're having a great week. Let's get it and let's give it a grade. <sighs> Do not try to compete with me drinking stouts in the house of Matumbo.
Actually, you can all day. I'm joking. Anyway, it's my dog. She doesn't like uh, people walking by, which my neighbor just did. So there you go. Um, but, all right. A little pastry-ish. Not, not too sweet. Um, like, you just mean like that like that, that little bit of vanilla in there. But, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not hating on that. Uh, in fact, there's still some right here. I forgot about the snifter. Okay. It's good enough. I'll drink that off camera. Enjoy the rest of that. I'm already, no one else is usually slamming a stout like this, so enjoy that. Stow her down the hill, no. I'm going to give this, um, uh, kind of, man, I just, I will say that. I will kind of retort that it could come off as nine percent. It's pretty, it's pretty smooth and just kind of like a lot of like flavor, and you don't get the boo, a lot of crazy booze with it. So, um, I'm gonna give it a. I probably it's kind of funny that way. I'm gonna give it the same thing I ended up giving the TCB and a mash, I believe. Uh, that's decent. I'm gonna give that like. Absolutely tip toppity Larry David. Pretty, pretty, pretty decent. Uh, 93, almost 93 and a half. Uh, a, tip top A minus beer, not quite in the A range of solid, but uh, pretty good. Pretty, pretty decent. So, um, f uh, but I will say for, you know, a little over seven bucks a can for 10 and a half percent and that. I would, I would try it. I would absolutely try it. Uh, um, actually, hold on one second. All right, then. Um, I just figured something out. You can you can actually go to their site, and uh, the, they charge you eight fifty a can um, at the... Uh, wait, is that right? Yeah. Well, go to Handy Market if you're in L.A. because you can actually get a can uh, apparently a little cheaper than they actually do at the brewery. Uh, but um, eight fifty directly from them, and if you can make the Handy Market, maybe just a little cheaper. Uh, I think they're just trying to get their product out there. But uh, one thing I didn't even notice, and I'm, I might have to try try to get a glass. Look at that. What does that look like? Does that look like the Nugget symbol? Yes, that's that's what their symbol is. So. Uh, wow. Okay. Because I went to their site around the horn, born in Yosemite, brewed in gold country. Literally looks like the nugget, nuggets emblem, except replace the nuggets emblem with uh, a hop symbol. So there you go. So cheers to around the horn. Awesome. Uh, but yeah, go get this. See if you can get it. I uh, support them. I'm definitely gonna have to see if I can get that glass around the horn. If you're, if you're watching, uh, DM me on uh, on uh, Instagram, and I would love to see if I could get a glass from you guys. That that looks just like my nuggets, except that's, you know, even maybe even more awesome just with the hop symbol instead of the basketball. So, uh, all right. So anyway, good talk. Cheers to y'all, and obviously, you know, I got to give props to uh, so the one orchestrated minds in uh, you know in Florida. But there you go. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you out there. Biggie Ups, Crappensburg State, and Dan Patrick Show. Go see that on, uh, on uh, you know, mornings every week, and you can find it on YouTube. See ya.